This is the Muskogee crepe myrtle. Crepe myrtles typically are not considered large shade trees, but if there's a few varieties that are out there that can grow large enough to be shade trees or small shade trees, Muskogee is one of them. Muskogee is going to have a little more of an upright oval shape to it uh, with exfoliating bark. It's going to grow very well in zones 7 through 11. These will get good fall color as well, turning shades of yellow, orange, and red. And the flower pods will stay, once the flowers are spent, the flower pods will stay throughout the winter and give winter interest also. Uh, this is a line of Muskogees that I have planted here. So we're here at this beautiful home and this is a mature Muskogee. Uh, about, it's been in the ground about nine years. Really, really pretty blooms. Those lavender blooms. And you can get an idea how big they are. This tree is going to get about 25 to 35 feet tall and wide. Now this is a tree that you typically do not want to put on the corner of a home, but he has done a great job pulling his tree away from the home and giving it plenty of space to grow. But a lot of times you'll see landscapers that'll put these really, really close to a foundation and end up causing a lot of trouble. So this is this particular species is not what you'd want to use up close to the home, right up against your foundation, but this is great on a corner. So you can see how he's got his canopy trimmed up. And look at that. Isn't that, isn't that really pretty over that porch? It's kind of cascading along those, those columns. Now, one of the things about crepe myrtles, particularly as they're growing, Summer maintenance is going to include getting rid of these. Crepe myrtles like to sucker, and so we're going to show you how to prune those away. All right, so what we're going to do, getting right down to the base. And through the summer, you're going to really have to stay on top of these. Only lightly prune crepe myrtles. Let them grow naturally and never take a chainsaw, which causes scarring and disfigures the tree. So we've got a uh, nicely pruned up trunk now. Got that cleaned up. All right, one thing you'll notice is occasionally you'll have some limbs that try to straggle down a little bit. So Lee, how do you handle that? Um, so I walk around it and, and look for those and like we have one right here and as you, you can see how it's jutting downward and I'm going to take this whole thing off to where it comes into this other limb just like that and then I'm just going to kind of walk around this edge and look for anything that annoys me. Find where that one begins and take it off. So go ahead and give Muskogee Crepe Myrtle a try in your yard. Hey, and if this was helpful, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click notifications. Thanks for watching.